With critical funding on the line, the FBI director going before lawmakers, laying out concerns about the possibility of an organized attack against the U.S. Christopher Wray telling Congress that his immediate concern is that a lone wolf actor or small group will draw twisted inspiration from the events in the Middle East and Russia. There was already a heightened risk of violence in the United States before October 7th. Since then, We've seen a rogues gallery of foreign terrorist organizations call for attacks against Americans and our allies. It comes just days after a warning earlier this week about an 18-year-old Idaho man who was arrested and charged with allegedly planning an ISIS-K inspired attack on the homeland. In his testimony, Ray encouraging Congress to reauthorize Section 702 of FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which allows the government to collect information on foreign nationals without a warrant. It sometimes collects data on Americans who interact with persons of interest. It is critical for our ability to identify foreign terrorist organizations communicating with, inspiring, or working with people here in the U.S., and that's how we identify and stop attacks. Hardline House Republicans opposed to reauthorizing FISA without an amendment that would require the intelligence community to get an additional warrant to access Americans' data. As the FBI faces a $500 million budget cut, Ray laying out the stakes, saying our national security is at risk. Americans are applying in droves to devote their lives to a career with us protecting others. But we need more positions to be able to bring all the good people we can to the fight, certainly not fewer. And House Republicans say that they've made cuts to the FBI and other federal law enforcement agencies' budgets. Now, the FBI director is asking Congress to fund the agency through 2025. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.